We're preparing the flare line, and we've just cut our tubing, and this is what the tube looks like right now. Um, we, we have two tubes, one sitting in this fixture here that we're going to work on, and one that we just cut for an example. So when we look at the top of this tube, we can see the, the edges rolled over. And it might not be obvious until you look at a tube that's actually straight. So if we look at the other side of this tube, it's perfectly straight. This one right here is not perfectly straight. The edges are rolled over. So what we're going to do is use a deburring bit and a file to open up the tube and then square the top off. So all I do is I, I put this in here and I'm just turning it and it's cutting that rolled tubing out of the tube. And if you look close, you're going to see a, a chamfered edge inside where it's cut all that tubing out. If I find that the outside of the tube is rolled over, mushroomed over like that, I can use the other side of my tool to cut that. It's not required on this one. Now I'm going to take a file and I want to make sure that the tube is perfectly square. The top is flat and the walls are straight. So take my file And now, when I, I look at the tube, I can see that this wall right here is a little bit thinner than the wall over on this side. And it does feel, when I, when I pull up on the line, I feel a ledge over here. Now when I, I look at this tool, or the tube, the wall thickness is the same all the way around. Um, the top of the tube looks nice and flat, and the tube looks square. So we're ready to start flaring this tube now. 